I think I have a really big treat for everybody. Today, we're going to go over nuclear reactor physics. Basically, what happens with the neutrons in terms of quantitative values that can be measured. And it comes down to this formula. And you might think, ooh, that looks complicated. It's Greek. Well, there are Greek letters in there, but they really are just simple factors. This K is just a product of four factors. And this does ignore all kinds of leakage, but it is still used today in nuclear engineering design. When we're designing reactors, this is something that is always thought of. It's very common. So what we start with is K. K is the ratio of neutrons in one generation to the next, or you could also think of it as the production rate divided by the loss rate. If K equals one, that means you have a constant power out of that nuclear reactor. You, you're, you're generating the same number of neutrons as are being eaten up. And so it's approximately a factor, uh, a product of those four factors. Now, epsilon, the first Greek letter, is the fast fission factor. That's basically how many neutrons that come out of uranium-235 fission that come out really, really fast, and they run into a uranium-238, and then they fission that uranium-238. So you get some extra neutrons from that, from this fast fission, and that's epsilon. But in a nuclear reactor, it's the uranium-235 that's the fissioning and and, and that uranium-235 it's got a massive cross-section or a massive probability of fissioning if the neutrons are slow when the neutrons first come out of fission of uranium-235 they're fast and to slow them down we usually bounce them into water they, they jiggle around in water and they they transfer that energy to the protons in the water and so they slow down but while they're doing that they have to miss the uranium-238 the uranium-238 is effectively a poison in a sense. It doesn't fission with these, these slower energy neutrons. And so it's like a, a poison. And so you've got to escape those resonances, the, the, the probability of absorption in the uranium-238. And that's the P, the resonance escape probability. So you want that as close to one as possible so that most of those neutrons escape the parasitic absorption in the uranium-238. And then you need that those neutrons, once they're slowed down, they need to be absorbed in the fuel. And so that's what this F is. It's the, uh, util the thermal utilization factor. It basically tells you the probability that the fuel is going to absorb the, uh, the neutrons instead of the moderator and the uh, structural materials and so forth. So those neutrons need to get taken up by the fuel and not by everything else. And then finally, eta, the last Greek letter, and that's the number of neutrons that are given off per fusion, per fission, sorry, uh, when the, the fuel absorbs it. So not all absorptions result in a fission, and uh, we need to make sure that when the, the fission occurs that it gives off those neutrons, and eta is basically about 2 to 2.1 depending on the fuel. So you're given off an extra couple neutrons here, and uh, then there are these losses that occur in here, and this whole product has to approximately be equal to